No, it was a bit pacey. Didn't get high enough in, into the reds. And straight away, a great chance for Trump. One. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, he could play the cannon into the reds here and stay on the red to the left corner. He doesn't need to, because that would be risky. Decided against it. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. <coughs> so four reds, four blacks. Thirty-three. And the angle on the black to bring more reds into play. But not an easy pack to go into from the black. And this red to the middle 40. is very difficult. And can't play at a pace to get the right side of the blue. Oh, can he? What a shot that was. I didn't think that was on. What a great pot and position. How did that red go in at that angle at that speed? 48. Switch to right handed. 49. Just travelled a little far for comfort with the cue ball. Could have done with a more angle. Now, how's your luck? They've split beautifully. If we can get back to the black. 56. I'm not sure if he can. He had different ideas. So, still on the black. The bonus price for the maximum is up to 30,000. 65. 2,000 with the high break as well. This is starting to look like a good chance. Yes, again, he's left himself a little straight on the black. From such an easy red to leave himself straight. He was a little careless. Still needs another red after this black to make the same the frame safe. Nicely on the red to the middle. Seventy two. Sixty. 
73. Another great positional shot, that. Finding the gap between the reds. Another beautiful cannon, that. Well worked out. Eight. Those two reds were awkward. We've had 129 official 147s. Judd Trump's made two. One at the Antwerp Open four years ago. One at the German Masters two years ago. Eighty-eight. Frame well and truly safe. Eighty-nine. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. We've had two maximums in Beijing. Steve Maguire, 2008. Neil Robertson, 2010. Oh, that's century, the 70th of the season. Yeah, brilliant. Trying to play for the red Real nearest fault. that right side cushion. Well, he had the correct angle on the black. Nicely played. And a nice angle on the black to get back onto that last red. Well, this would just well. underscore, wouldn't it, the form he's been in, if he were to make a 147 here. 113. Yeah, nice angle on the black to move up towards the yellow. Doesn't want the kiss. Played it beautifully. What a talent this man is. Yes, I think the only way this could go wrong now is pink to black, because the cue ball's going to have to travel, but I think you'd back Trump heavily from here. 125. Yeah, this is the key shot to get the right side of the blue to move down towards the pink. 129. And he's left it straight. Not too bad. If he leaves it somewhere around about half ball to be able to pop the pink, come down to the black. But from such an easy brown, well, maybe he's got a little angle. 134. That's just about right. Two balls to go then, and this is now the key shot. Get on this black nicely. He needs a bounce. He needs a bounce. 140. Well, I did say that was the shot, wasn't it? Because the cue ball had to travel. So this is not a black you'd want for a maximum. This is tough. 140. No, I think he got a little kick. <laughs> Get in there. Fantastic <laughs> from <laughs> Judd Trump. They're on their feet for his third competitive. 147 break. Real tough last black it was as well. But he's knocked it in. Thank 
Very interesting match about to start. Tepchara and New against Fergal O'Brien, the ultimate clash of styles there. Tremendous to get in off a shot like this and moving the red away from the black became very handy. Nine. Got a feeling that was a little bit tight. Might have had to play that with left hand side to straighten the, the angle on that red. Forcefully here into the bunch. Doesn't look all that productive, that shot. 16. Didn't hit it as hard as he might have done it. I guess if he hits it harder, the cue ball throws a little wide. And he may have missed the bunch. Now he's on this right up into the yellow pocket. Well, that'd be handy. Pretty adjacent. What a recovery shot that was. Now, this really was a terrific shot. Just to see enough of the red to pot it, I, I felt. Well, dare we say it, fourth black. Forty-two. 
Well, I have said it, I know, but uh, you just get the feeling, don't you, with Trump, that maybe it's on his mind. I'd already thought it. You know, it is cliche, but you have to put the frame away first. Clearly, you don't take any liberties. So There'll be no point in doing that. don't think I've seen very many 147 breaks where someone has yeah. taken an undue risk at the start of it. Usually it's all done with authentic shots. 41. He'd been one somewhere along the lines, but he doesn't take those sort of risks until the frame is secure. We had one last year, Stuart Bingham, of course, in Belfast, and John Higgins made one in 2016 in this event. Yeah. He may have felt that he got the, a very slightly heavy contact there, I suppose. Hence, his position is not immaculate here for this next black. This will be the big test. Now, really, yeah, he's got every right to play on a, a lower value colour here. 57. No, that's a continuation as if it's in his sights as well, because rolling it in on the pink was potentially the shot. 54. If it goes, does it pass the other red? I think it does. Once again, it's easy to play on something else but the black. Now he's got to say, look, what do I do? Do I try for the 147 or am I just going to roll this in, get on the blue, get the frame one, 3-0 up? 53. Yeah. There's your answer. Staying on the black again. Definitely in his sights. He wants it. He's made four in his career, Judge Trump, in professional competition. We had one last week, of course, Sean Murphy in the German Masters qualifiers here in Milton Keynes. That was the 160th in snooker history. Oh, I like that shot. That really has developed everything now. are all lined up quite nicely to this right corner. 80. Eighty one. Interesting. He left himself near the cushion, but with a natural angle to run across to the left if it goes in onto the bottom red. Got the backup red to the middle. 88. Eighty-nine. Of course, in getting on that bottom red, the other two reds are released to the left corner. To get high enough on this next red. And it's a wonderful chance now, it really is. Of course, when he was 14, he became the youngest player to make a competitive maximum break. 97. Signs were there, as Neil said earlier, for a long, long time with Trump, of how special he would be. 
147s that are not rare, but it still gives you a great buzz to watch them being compiled. 105, yeah. It's fairly got a kick there, but it's it's not the end of the world by any means. You might just play onto the red into the same pocket as he takes his black instead of the other side. Well, there were times early on in the break where he could have played for other colours. He stuck to the black. He wants this maximum. And what a chance now for Judd Trump to make it. 130. He wants to be low on this, and that's OK. He's a little low, but it always means that he has the angle to get up for the yellow. I always make this point, but the pink is never going to be on its spot because it's never been potted but it's very close to it. It's in a very good position. This really is as good as it gets. 122. Well, something's going to have to go very dramatically wrong to stop him now. 125. I'm sure his family are all watching back in Bristol. They've had so much to watch, haven't they, the last few years? and be really happy about 129 this is fantastic it really is perfectly now drop this in pink and black then Hundred and forty. Hundred and forty seven and the Is there anything this young man can't do? Judd Trump with a maximum break at the Northern Ireland Open. You could see early on he was gonna go for it. What a magnificent break that was, just underlining how well he is playing.